Hello, welcome to evening prayer on Trinity Sunday. The uh, probably most beguiling of all the feast days of the church where we celebrate the great mystery of one God, three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Blessed Trinity. Um, you know, St. Patrick used to use the three-leaf clover uh, to try to illustrate, demonstrate the, the one and three, three and one. Um, but I love the way Father Adam uh, sort of put it to words last night in his uh, homily Saturday evening mass. The uh, God is love and it requires uh, more than one person to, to have to be love. There has to be a lover, a beloved, and then that love between them is so strong that it creates that third person, the Holy Spirit. And uh, he, <laughs> he, he said one word in his homily last, last night, and I said, oh, that's what I said last week. <laughs> he said, the culmination, God, the, when we celebrated last week at Pentecost, the, uh, the, the coming of the Holy Spirit, the the culmination, the, the fulfillment of the three persons of the, the mysterious trinity uh, finally coming to fruition at Pentecost. And here now we celebrate the three of them and the one of them at the same time. So it, it's something that we really can't understand fully because it's just not anything that... Uh, we don't need to understand it. You know, let's just put it that way. We, we, don't, we, we, we take this on faith. You know, we, we, we need to have that, that trust and that faith in God. And whether we understand it or not is of no consequence. It's, it's more of, hi Joseph, <laughs> it's more about uh, just allowing it to be. And then we... We, we will figure it out, or God will bring us to enlightenment when we finally get to, to heaven. So let's get there. All right, no hurry, but let's get there. And, uh, and then we'll, we'll, we'll see for ourselves this, this mystery of unity and trinity. Let us pray our evening prayer together on this Trinity Sunday uh, through the eyes of faith. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O Trinity Most High, eternal and true, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord's revelation to my Master sit on my right, your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes, a prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains, from the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in a day of his great wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, we ask you to give us victory and peace. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and King, we are already seated at your right hand. We look forward to praising you in the fellowship of all your saints in our heavenly homeland. O Trinity Most High, eternal and true, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, save us, set us free, and give us life, O blessed Trinity. When Israel came forth from Egypt, Jacob's sons from an alien people, Judah became the Lord's temple, Israel became his kingdom. The sea fled at the sight, the Jordan turned back on its course, the mountains leapt like rams, and the hills like yearling sheep. 
Why was it, sea, that you fled, that you turned back, Jordan, on your course? Mountains that you leapt like rams, hills like yearling sheep? Tremble, O earth, before the Lord, in the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool and flint into a spring of water. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty God, ever-living mystery of unity and trinity, you gave life to the new Israel by birth from water and the Spirit, and made it a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a people set apart as your eternal possession. May all those you have called to walk in the splendor of the new light render you fitting service and adoration. Save us, set us free, and give us life, O blessed Trinity. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, the God who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia, salvation, glory, and power to our God. His judgments are honest and true. Alleluia. Alleluia, sing praise to our God, all you his servants, all who worship him reverently, great and small. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord our all-powerful God is king. Let us rejoice, sing praise, and give him glory. Alleluia. Alleluia, the wedding feast of the Lamb has begun, and his bride is prepared to welcome him. Alleluia. Alleluia, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, the God who is, who was, and who is to come. Reading from the letter to the Ephesians. Make every effort to preserve the unity which has the Spirit as its origin and peace as its binding force. There is but one body and one spirit, just as there is but one hope given all, all of you by your call. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and works through all and is in all. Let us worship the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise God forever. Let us worship the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise God forever. To God alone be honor and glory. Let us praise God forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us worship the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise God forever. With our whole heart and voice we acclaim you, O God. We offer you our praise and worship. Unbegotten Father, only begotten Son, Holy Spirit, constant friend and guide, most holy and undivided Trinity, to you be glory forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. With our whole heart and voice we acclaim you, O God. We offer you our praise and worship Unbegotten Father, only begotten Son, Holy Spirit, constant friend and guide, most holy and undivided Trinity, to you be glory forever. The Father, through the Holy Spirit, has given life to the humanity of Christ his Son, and has made him a source of life for us. 
Let us raise our voices in praise to the triune God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Father, almighty and eternal God, send the Holy Spirit upon your church in your Son's name. Preserve it in the unity of charity and in the fullness of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Send laborers into your harvest, Lord, to teach the truth to all nations, and to baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, send help to all who suffer persecution in the name of your Son. For he promised to send the Spirit of truth to answer for them. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Father omnipotent, may all men come to acknowledge you, together with the Word and the Holy Spirit, as the one true God. May they believe in you, hope in you, love you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Father of all the living, bring the dead to share in your glory, the glory of your eternal reign with your Son and the Holy Spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth, and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. A great night, and uh, enjoy Memorial Day tomorrow, the, the holiday of the uh, celebration of our heroes, our fallen heroes that we remember and honor uh, preserving our freedom throughout the history of this wonderful country of ours. God bless you all, and God bless America.